We're here today doing a comparison of the Hovercam Solo 8 and the Elmo TT12 uh, and we're going to compare their ability to record videos. So let's record a video. I, on the Hovercam I press the video record button and to start I'm now recording. One, two, three, four, five and let's see how good full motion video works. And let's go ahead and bring in a worksheet here. 2 plus 2 equals 4, 5 plus 5 equals 10. Again, the full motion video. And let's see how the hover cam did. I'll stop the video, and now let's play it back by hitting the playback button. Recording 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and let's see how good full motion video works. And let's go ahead and bring in a worksheet here. 2 plus 2 equals 4, 5 plus 5 equals 10. Again, the full motion video, and let's see how the hover cam did. Let's record a similar video with the Elmo. Um, on this, um, to record a video, we need to use a remote control. That's now recording. Uh, so here is uh, hand motion, right here, and then we'll go ahead and uh, count one, two, three, four, five more hand motions. And let's go ahead and get my worksheet, and we'll solve the same problem. 2 plus 2 equals 4, 5 plus 5 equals 10. Again, more hand motion, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Good. To stop the recording, I have to hit the uh, stop button. So that stopped my recording. So there's the menu, and then I'm going to select the last video, and let's see how the Elmo recorded. That's now recording. Uh, so here is... Uh, the recording speed of the Elmo was half the speed of the hover cam at 15 frames a second, and the resolution is much lower, so the image is not as clear. So in order for me to share the video I just created on the Elmo um, you know, with students, I, I've recorded it to an SD card uh, right here, and so I've taken the SD card out from the document camera and plugged it into um, the computer. And so by doing that, I was able to go and open up the file uh, right here to see uh, the quality of the frame. resolution is 720p and that the frame rate is 15 frames a second. That's half the speed of the Solo 8. Uh, with the hover cam, um, I've recorded directly to my computer, so it's easy to share already. And by bringing it up, you can see the frame rate is a full motion 30 frames per second, and the resolution is 1080p. So the Solo 8 just does a much better job of recording. The Hovercam records video directly to the computer, which is very convenient. The Elmo can do that also, so let's see how it does. So I've hooked up the USB cable from the Elmo to the computer. Let's go and record a video. So to do that, I have their software up. Let's go ahead and uh, hit the record button. First, I have to name, name the file. So I'll go ahead and we'll name this uh, Elmo123 and we'll hit save. And once I do that, I'm starting to record. So I'm now recording. Let me go ahead and go that up. So here's my hand. You'll notice the resolution of the, the Elmo is not very high. That's XGA resolution. That, in fact, is 70% of 720p resolution, and it's at 9 frames a second. It's, you know, not very fast at all. Uh, so here we go. Let's do the math test. 2 plus 2 equals 4. 5 plus 5 equals 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All right, let's go ahead and stop our video. And hit the stop button. And then let's go ahead and play it back. So here it is. Go that up, so here's my hand. You'll notice the resolution of the, the Elmo is not very high. That's XGA resolution. That, in fact, is 70% of 720p resolution, and it's at 9 frames a second. It's you know, not very fast at all. Um, so here we go. Let's do the math test. 2 plus 2 equals 4. 
5 plus 5 equals 10. So with the Hovercam, you can share files directly from the computer. You've got a software interface. You use your mouse. You don't need to use a remote control in order to record a video.